with all of this talk of the next collab coming to Grand Cross, man, I could not be more excited, especially with the trailer they released. A lot of people kind of tossing up whether it'll be the Rising of the Shield hero or whether it'll be Fate Unlimited Blade Works. Honestly, I've been saying this since the day, literally since we started getting collabs, but if we were to have a Fate collab for Grand Cross, it would be absolutely perfect. I feel like that'd be the top franchise to actually get a collab with this game. And I mean, Unlimited Blade Works also has Gil in the series. So if we could get Gil, even if it isn't first time around, I feel like he'd be a top contender for a rerun character. Who knows? I mean, especially with the trailer, all that kind of stuff. If we are going to get it, it looks like Emiya is going to be, well, Archer, I should say, is definitely going to be one of the characters we're getting, which is still a massive W. So we'll have to see how things go with that one. But uh, having a look at today's patch notes, man, there is really absolutely nothing to talk about. They gave us a whole bunch of those kind of just mini events that you can do for the gems, all that kind of stuff. But yeah, there's not a crazy amount with today's update. Let's. Let's go like this here, but we're finally showing off the demon team with all the new cosmetics. Thank God they finally released these, man. Giving characters like Nebula, Seljus, Esterosa, all have their max cosmetics now, so a huge boost in CC for the team, and definitely some of their best cosmetics. I mean, I even made a video saying that the Zeldris cosmetic could be the best cosmetic in the game. I mean, look at the Assault Melee one as well. I wasn't too big a fan of any of these costumes before this one here, but this is a complete turn in the right direction. Netmob have been smashing it with the costumes as a reason. Been doing such a good job. Unfortunately, the Esterosa's one, I'm not as fond of it as I am as these other two, but it's still pretty good. I'll definitely give it that. And wow, I already had, uh, it's been a hot minute since I've seen the Alt Rush team. Really nice, because it's going to give us a good opportunity to go ahead and show off the Esterosa. I can imagine this DM will have a Tarmil, which we can, yeah, completely negate that with the Infect card. I know, I still really like the Ominous Nebula Zeldris, but I feel like if they had given him Echidna's kit, he would have worked a whole lot better with the Demon team. I don't know, Infect's a bit of a weird skill. Once again, it does counter the Time Hill Grace, which is really good, but if you're applying the Encroach debuff anyways, Esterosa or pretty much anyone on the team is going to one tap regardless, so it is a little funny that they went ahead and gave him that. However, some kind of Sever card would have been absolutely perfect. I know, it's nice that you gave the Demon team Alt Rush. That was definitely one of the biggest flaws, especially before the Zeldris, but once again, you're usually killing before they end up getting the ultimates, getting a chance to pretty much anything. Like it's turn two, you've won the game, all that kind of stuff. It's definitely one of those teams that you really, really want to go ahead and go first with. Uh, oh, this is a definitely a bit of a bad spot. What if I go like this, if we can kill both of you? And now a bit risky, there's quite a few darkness debuffs, and I feel like especially with all of those build pop in the end as well, we should be good to go here. Yeah, no encroaching. Bro just does damage. Everyone on the field is full HP defense, by the way. You simply just don't need to build an attack crit. I had Esterosa attack crit for the longest time, and he just, he overshoots every single time he attacks, and I don't know, it felt like a bit of a waste. You end up getting so much more CC, which is definitely as well one of the biggest parts about this team, about this game in general. Damn, Deanne's gonna lose all those, but I feel like we should still be good to kind of finish her off. Gonna be able to get the merger with the Esterosa, so oh with the Zogris, I should say. Damn, once she starts getting built up as well, she can do some good, good damage. And um, we'll go like that there. I would actually like to try and go ahead and shove some of their ultimates in today's videos, because apparently they have custom cutouts for when Oh, did I not go ahead and <laughs> I'm actually throwing. That's right. Uh, apparently they have custom cutouts where the demonic beast battle their costume represents actually pops up in the cutout, so. Hopefully the DN doesn't end up killing anyone here and we can perfect exactly what we wanted. Yeah, so we'll see if that's the actual case when we throw off this Esterosa ultimate, because that would be sick. That'd be so well done. Come on, does it happen? Oh yeah, look at that. Here's the here's the icon in the background. Let's go. And I honestly thought it'll be just a tad bit early for a new collab, but hey, I'm not complaining. Collabs are some of the best content we get in this game, and I mean I will wholeheartedly stand by that. Uh, let's see Rimuru. It's not often you see Rimuru anymore. Uh, might go for this here. As long as Rimuru is dead, I feel like the Echidna ultimate we should be fine to go ahead and tank that one. Rimuru, however, can be a little bit more damaging, especially with that second hit coming out. Yeah, thank God we're not using a full AoE team. Even if you were, who knows, is the new... Oh, what's her name? Literally the newest character you get. How could this Spooky Party Eastern, is it? Yeah, no, Spooky Party Eastern. Would she really still be a top tier pick? if you're using full AoE teams, because I feel like then you're a whole lot better using the Ragnarok Bar and something like that. It's not often everyone uses these teams. Maybe in top 100, it could be a good strategy because you can very easily cheese wins with some kind of Suicide Lids or Suicide Fraudrant Doom. Yeah, and then we can, went for the Echidna Ultimate. 
Uh, I mean, I can go like this, and then... Uh, I might just keep going full send into the Echidna instead. I mean, I don't really have to worry about her ultimate. Wait, she is definitely good. I didn't have to use the level 2 tentacle play. Oh, please tell me this goes for a Mur. Oh, perfect. Would you look at that? Yeah, and at this point, that's one you're really trying to look at in this team. However, if you are trying to climb up the ranks, it'll definitely work. Like, if you have some really good 6-6 six -six character, by all means. And a Sarl. This could be... No, we should be fine. Yeah. With this kind of CC, I mean, once you start getting to the 380,000, that's when you're really good against all of the teams, but you can still definitely get out CC on the 360,000 teams. Um, who do I... I think I might be going for Sarl. Might be the best bet, just in case they put up that karma. Yeah, I still... I don't know. All of the cosmetics on all of my main characters are completely maxed out. All of their gears... Definitely you are. Gear 14% rolls and above. All I can really do is get the associations up a little bit higher. I know not all of my associations are, well, I mean, you've got, what, well, you've got Tamiel, you've got Sariel, you've got King, which that will be 100. The bottom of the back has the OG King, which is probably the only one on the team that isn't level 100. Uh, I know his cosmetics aren't upgraded as well, but yeah, once you get to that 360,000, a lot of it starts coming from the constellation buffs, the artifact sets, and really just minimaxing those characters, because from this point onwards, it's... You're really pushing those units. They're gonna be units that you use a lot. And as someone who really loves to just go ahead and try out any team they feel like, it can be a bit tough to go ahead and do that sometimes. Uh let's put that one there. I'd honestly love for Marvel to survive that one. That way we can see the full power of the Esterosa ultimate. Oh perfect. Covid action tentacle blade. 400? Yeah. Bro was a beast, man. Esterosa still definitely one of my favorite units in this game. I just I really hope we get another good demon character, or... I mean, none of the Fey characters would be classified as demon, and even if we'll get something like Hercules, he'd definitely be classified as an unknown of anything. But hey, it doesn't look like he... Yeah, he doesn't have any ult control with this team, unless he was to have gotten a merge on the uh, Demonic Hellzone card from Zelda, and he could have ult disabled for that turn, but... We should be fine, we'll throw off the ultimate. Man, once you get Asterosa to 3-6, he gets the extra attack buff with his ultimate. What is it, the... Extra 20% on the attack as well, because usually it's only 20% on defense. Man, ultimate goes crazy. Let's let's go double weak attacks onto you. Oh, for some reason I'm scared that second one might kill. Maybe I'm tripping. <laughs> Maybe it's because of all of the darkness debuffs and everyone else. Yeah, no, he would have been fine. That's all right. We'll show off the Esterosa ultimate again. Man, definitely gonna try and get the assault melee one. See, 1. 1.5. That's only 3.6. And another demon team using the Chandler. Bro, this Chandler as well, got to be one of my favorite units. If you have the chance to build this Holy Relic, probably not the strongest demon Holy Relic, all that kind of stuff. You're probably really good building the Zeldris one, just because of how many teams he's used on, all that kind of stuff. But, and they are holding out all the Assault Melee Holy Relics. I feel like I'm really keen for the Monster Speed as well. So, who knows, maybe you don't want to go ahead and build the Chandler one, but hey, yeah, bro's got, bro's got all the emotes. <laughs> there we go. Damn, almost got rid of Chandler turn one. I really, depending on what our card draw is, I might see, yeah, we might just go ahead and move the Assault Melee card instead. Proc and Croach on Chandler, we can finish him off. That way the block effect doesn't come out when we want to throw off his ultimate, because that'll definitely hinder how much damage we want to do. I think that removes the buffs from his ultimate, which would be the main thing, because I think other than that, it's strictly raw damage. Bro's doing a lot of damage to Asterosa, though. Do we, do we still go for the kill on... I think that might be the go. We'll move you, go one, and yeah, that'll definitely finish off the channel there. So even if Esterosa dies, I'm gonna be fine with that. We're mainly looking to get off his ultimate here. Perfect. And I would definitely like Esterosa to get at least one more costume, because just with how much I enjoy using the unit, for him to have an absolutely fire one would be really, really good, because look at how good this Zelda one looks, man. It's so goddamn good. Perfect, and we can show off the assault. Unfortunately, no ultimate animation for Zeldris, but we already showed that off in the... Actually, did I show it off? Because I swear I would have remembered if I saw the skull. Or is it Skull Anardi maybe for his? I don't know, maybe I didn't show it off in the Zeldris showcase. Who knows, man. Bro's definitely thinking about his turn, though. There's a proc encroach on everyone, so whoever he wants to go ahead and kill here, entirely up to him, whether or not he wants to get rid of the Esterosa, or if he wants to... He wants to cuck the showcase and kill... Assault melee. Okay. Your time to shine assault melee, man. This is this is all up to you. That is a lot of debuffs as well. Good damn. Perfect. And then we'll just spam away. Man, that's a lot of darkness. His Esteros is probably built up. 
Yeah, almost extra 100,000 HP. Why not? We'll, we'll give it our best shot and then I'll throw out the soldier squad. Perfect. Yeah, that looks, that is so damn good looking. <sighs> yeah, bros, bros definitely aged just a little bit. I mean, that attack at least held up. And then go for the... Oh, I really would have liked that to have killed. I mean, hey, I'm still very, very happy with how these guys showcased and absolutely in love with all of these costumes. But there we go. That is about does it for today's video. Man, I really hope they start to do more things like this. I know there's not a crazy amount of teams that have missing costumes or even characters at this point. Looking at the rest, like Maru, all of these top characters definitely do. Uh, second row, obviously, other than the ReZero characters. I Although a couple of these original ones should have max cosmetics from yeah their rerun. Although the uh, Echidna and the Reinhardt definitely wouldn't have none, and unfortunately I don't think they'll ever be able to get their max cosmetics. It's a shame. Reinhardt definitely missing out on quite a bit of CC. Which thank God, man. If Reinhardt was more broken than he was now, that'd be man. I already struggle enough against that team as it is. But once again, that just about does it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If so, please hit like button, subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And I'll see you guys for some more. Brand cross content.